it is a beautiful Saturday morning. We have a big day ahead of us fencing our property. But first, we have an important stop to make. We need some Americana. Our fence is going to be running basically to that orange line. Well, that's the point. Mm. It's not as far as that. It's in front of the furthest pole in the, the corner pole, but in line with that orange marker. Okay. And then straight up to there. Okay. Well, let's get after it. We're gonna go pick up the fence post pounder from our neighbor right now. Um, so the guy that's doing the gravel, laying our gravel, he just left and we wanted him to come and take a look at the driveway where we're gonna be putting the gate that we built. Um, but that's gonna be actually the last thing that we end up putting in because it's only, what is it, 12 feet, right? 13. Is a 13 foot no the, the gate is 12 feet plus the space um and they said it would be better for their trucks when they come with the gravel if that was not in there it just gives them a lot more clearance to be able to get through um and so it sounds like maybe early next week we might be getting gravel yeah some of it not all of it it's gonna take some time to get a good base down ground
got our first post in. First time using a post pounder. It's not entirely straight, but it's not that far off. So I'm happy with that. these larger corner posts that we're driving into the ground they're taking a little while to get deep enough we need to go about three to four feet down um, but the smaller posts once we get with, started with those since they're only three to four inches in diameter it's going to go a lot quicker to get them in it a night we've run out of fuel on the post pounder so we've got seven posts in and it was as I suspected the, the smaller posts go in really really fast so back at it again tomorrow morning right there is lunch. I am eight feet away from lunch right now.
gotta say, fencing is ugly work. It is really hard. I couldn't imagine doing this without a post pounder. It's, uh, it's just making a very, very difficult job a lot easier. So. And sporting a really nice farmer tan. So I'll have to even that out throughout the summer. At first glance, this is just another barbed wire fence. Not a big deal, but to us, it's a crucial piece of infrastructure that's needed before we can move and live here permanently. You see, we have a cow problem. We need to fence them outside of the boundaries of the homestead, otherwise we risk damage to our RV and equipment. We've already sustained damage to the frost wall from the cattle and we can't risk more. Without this fence, our time and ability to make meaningful progress is limited, but now that we have it, it's a huge weight lifted. With approximately 80 posts pounded into the ground, Vance was left on his own to run the lines of wire fencing. After a week of grueling work, it's plain to see why this wire is considered to be the devil's rope. This wire can and does quickly chew you up. By week's end and with Vance looking like he was attacked by a mob of feral cats, the fence is essentially finished and we can focus our efforts on starting the pole barn that will house the RV. That's all for today. We really hoped you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you on the next video.